Hey everybody, it's Taylor y'all. Welcome back to another vlog. So happy to have you guys back with me. I'm excited to be with you guys today. So first things first, I need to open my Red Bull. Oh, I've been going all day today and I need this. So what I need to do today is mop. I have to mop. We are going out of town for a vacation to visit some family. We're heading to San Antonio. So um, I just need to mop my floors. I have neglected my floors for a very long time, you guys. I don't understand <laughs> what's taken me so long to actually take the time to mop. Honestly, it has been procrastination, laziness. There's a bunch of variables, right? But at the end of the day, the fact is I haven't mopped and my floors are disgusting. I'm embarrassed for how long that I haven't mopped my floors for. Like legitimately, I'm not even lying to you. It's probably been at least two full months that I have not mopped my floors. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. And I think for a while I was like in denial thinking like, they're not that bad. The floors aren't that bad. All right, y'all, when I walk around my socks get black or like, you know, they get dirty on the bottom of my socks. And that kind of made me be like, okay, I really have to mop my floors now. So, and just the fact that we're going out of town, I just want to have a clean house. I like leaving a clean house and coming home to a clean house. I don't want to come back home from vacation and have to clean my house. If anything, that is my pet peeve. I don't like that. I rather like bust my butt before we're going out of town and be so tired from cleaning and packing that when I get home, I feel at peace. <laughs> so anyways, no more talking, Taylor. I talk too much. And I'm also gonna share with you my banana bread recipe because I have some bananas that need to be used up or else they're gonna go bad and I don't want fruit flies in my house. So I'm also gonna do that at the end. The only reason why I'm mopping first is because Nolan, my smallest, he's napping. He doesn't normally nap. He's been under the weather with allergies. So have I. So if I sound a little bit congested here and there, that's why. Allergies has just been insane, y'all. Comment down below if you guys have been experiencing terrible allergies. I have essential oils going in his room too because poor thing can't breathe. So um, yeah, that's why I'm mopping first because I want him, you know, out of the way so I can mop without having to worry if he's gonna slip and fall. And Jackson is in his room watching a movie. So let's get to mopping.
I did all the tile floor. The only things I haven't done were the bathrooms and the wood floor. Honestly, I want to switch the water out because uh, the water's looking pretty dang dirty already. But I never show you guys my affirmations that I put on my mirror. I wrote these out a couple of weeks ago and I look at them every day. Obviously, it's like where I get ready and I just look at them and I love it. finished mopping the second round of water was still very dirty not as dirty as the first round but it was very dirty what I will say is that uh, this week I end I'm plan on mopping one more time before we go out of town just because the floor was that dirty I don't think it picked up everything you know but anyways we're gonna move on to the banana bread recipe so this recipe I've been doing for a very long time already um, I found it off of Pinterest, so I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys. It's amazing. I've made it for family and everybody loves it. I'm going to start with all my dry ingredients first. You need one and a half cups of flour. And I'm putting it in a small bowl, but then we're going to transfer everything into a big bowl. Because uh, you're supposed to do like dry and then wet, so all of my dry is going to a small bowl. So that's one and a half cups of flour. And this is regular flour. You can also use wheat flour. We've used that before, like whole wheat flour. One teaspoon of baking soda. Half a teaspoon of salt, but I'm just gonna eyeball it. Probably like that. Three fourth cup of sugar. So I have a one fourth cup here, so I'm gonna do three of these. Now, you might be thinking that that's a lot of sugar. It doesn't come out sweet, you guys. It really doesn't. I've even used brown sugar, and brown sugar is a little bit sweeter than regular sugar. So that's it for the dry ingredients to the recipe. Now what I like to add, my own personal touch, I add some cinnamon. I just do a good amount of cinnamon, because I like cinnamon, all right? It looks like that. And then I like to add some chia seeds. If you don't know what chia seeds are, I'm pretty sure you do. They're very healthy for you. I'm gonna add two, I'm gonna add one teaspoon. And I'm also going to add some milled flax seeds. You need to make sure that they are milled. If you get unmilled flax seeds, like the regular whole seeds, I've heard that they have no nutritional value that way. They, when you like consume them, um, they don't give you in, any nutrients. It's more like a crunch. But when they're milled, you get all the nutrients from it. So I'm gonna also add a teaspoon into our mix. All right, so that's it for the dry ingredients, you guys. Pretty simple. So let's move on to the wet. So I have my bananas here. These are what they look like. They're not too brown. I normally prefer them way more brown than this. But since we have plans to leave here, I just wanted to use them up, you know. But yeah, this recipe calls for 
three medium bananas. Oh, I forgot to tell you, set your oven at 350. I forgot to do that. 350. All right, so now I'm gonna mash the banana a little bit more. So that's about where I want it. So the next thing I'm gonna add is one egg, just one egg. So the secret ingredient to this amazing banana bread is mayo, mayonnaise. Yes, I said it, mayo. So you're only gonna use half a cup. Half a cup seems like a lot, but I'm telling you, it makes the most moist banana bread. You can't taste mayo in there. Nothing, girl. Throw mayo in your banana bread and you will thank me. You will thank Pinterest. Throw it in. That's it for like the recipe, y'all. Okay? But what I like to add, I like to add a little bit of honey. I have a little bit in here, so I'm just gonna squeeze some. Might as well use it up because it's almost done anyways. And some vanilla. I always add vanilla to stuff when I'm baking. I'm going to do one teaspoon. And that's it, you guys. Now we can start mixing everything together. Look who finally woke up. Nolan. What? Hi, did you have a good nap? Yeah. And you were Hi, Jackson. And Daddy's cleaning the toilet. <laughs> yeah, that he is. He's fixing it. He's fixing. Did you have a good nap? Yeah. Yeah, you feel better. And, and look what I can do now. Oh my gosh. Alrighty, you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the banana bread in the oven. Again, it's at 350, and I cook mine for about 55 minutes. It says 50 to 60 minutes. I usually do 55 just because my oven tends to run a little bit hotter. So just kind of pay attention to that. You know, whatever you think that, I maybe start at 50 minutes and kind of go from there because I've definitely burned this before and it's not fun. you guys so the banana bread finished I let it sit here and cool for a little bit but there she is it's still very warm oh you can see the steam okay so yeah 55 minutes for me was perfect Lewis. this is the inside mmm this is my last banana bread. Yum. Remember to blow on it. All right, I'm going to take a taste test for y'all. Mmm. It's so good. I haven't made it with pecans in a while, and it's actually really good. And with all that sugar, it's not very sweet, you guys, like at all. You could add more sugar. And also with your bananas, the longer you let them ripen, like the darker they get, the sweeter they get. So mine weren't that brown. If you guys try the banana bread recipe, let me know. That's gonna be it for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit your notification bell so you're notified every time I post new videos. Hope you guys enjoyed watching me mop my dirty floors and make banana bread. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, everybody.